once again for Uncle Matt's bedtime story. Hello everybody, it's Uncle Matt and I'm here to read you another bedtime story. And tonight's bedtime story is about a puppy. A puppy in my head. No, I don't have a puppy head. That's the title of the story, Puppy in My Head. It is a book about mindfulness by Elise Gravel. We've read a few stories from Elise Gravel. I like her illustrations. And uh, let's check this one out. This book was copyright in 2020. Are you ready? Here we go. There is a puppy in my head. His name is Ollie. Arf! Most of the time, Ollie is quiet. He sits or sleeps. He's a good puppy. Zzz. Ollie is very curious. He wants to explore everything, smell everything, say hello to everybody, and go everywhere. That's how puppies learn. Mm -hmm. Sometimes Ollie is all over the place. He gets excited. Yip, yip. Then I get excited too. When he's happy, excited, it's fun. I feel like jumping around or dancing. But it's not fun when Ollie is too excited. That's when he runs around in my head and makes too much noise. Bark, 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 bark. He can't calm down. I can't calm down either. Ollie, stop it! Woo! Sometimes he gets scared. He tries to warn me that there is danger. Most of the time, the danger is not real. Yee! Bark, grr, bark. And, but then I get scared too. Eek! What is it, Ollie? Is there something we should be afraid of? If I listened to him every time he got scared, I'd be scared a lot. I try to tell him, stop, Ollie, sit down. Ow! But it doesn't always work. He needs help to calm down. It's not easy for a puppy. If he gets too excited, scared, or upset, he can't listen to me. His feelings control him. Yep, yep. When that happens, I take out my magical leash. It's not a leash that you can see. It's invisible. The leash is my breath. Huh? I sit down and take a deep breath, long, slow, and gentle. Then I breathe out very slowly. The sound of my breath calms Ollie. He comes closer. I breathe in and out a few more times, as many times as it takes, but always slowly. Ollie follows my breath and comes to sit right next to me. We cuddle. It's okay, Ollie. He's asleep now, see? He just needed help. We're both feeling better now. There are other ways I can help Ollie. When he gets too excited, he needs to use up his energy. I take him for a walk or a run, or to chase a ball. Sometimes Ollie just needs to talk. I listen and try to understand what he's telling me. What's bothering you, Ollie? Yip, bark, barf, yap, bark, bark, barf. Then I can talk about it to someone, too. Ollie is upset because I had a fight with my friend. Mostly what Ollie needs is for me to pay attention and spend more time with him. I'm here for you, buddy. I love Ollie. He's such a good puppy. He is my best 
friend. Everybody has a puppy in their head, even grown-ups. Do you have one? What is your puppy's name? The end. Well, that's interesting. A puppy in your head. Well, that's all the time we have for Uncle Matt's bedtime story. I hope you enjoyed that story, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.